Hey everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So today I'm gonna to show you how I made this setup using a new brand of balloons called Supreme Balloons. So I'm going to do this setup and give you an honest review of this balloon brand. I'm also gonna show you how I do my Shiera walls now. I'm using collapsible shear walls instead of the traditional wood walls for easier transport and setup. So if you want to see how I did this, just stay tuned. So here are the pieces to my shear wall frame. This is for the five foot wall. Now I'm going to show you how I put it together real quick. All of the pieces come with little screws and then it comes with a makeshift like screwdriver. Um, you can get your own if you already have tools you can use your own but if in case you don't have tools it comes with the screwdriver so what you want to do is you want to take the screws out of all of the pieces and they're little tiny screws so be careful not to lose them and this is going to be very simple all you're going to do is just connect the pieces together and then just screw the screws back on very simple so the wall comes with directions and all of the pieces are numbered. So two of the pieces have a number one, two of them have a number two, two of them have a number three, one has a number four and one has a number five and they'll tell you which ones to connect and you just put the screws back on and there goes your Shiera wall frame. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes to assemble. So one of my walls is five feet and the other is seven feet. And now I'm gonna put on my Shiera wall spandex covers. So that's the opening right there and you just put it over the top and drag it all the way to the bottom. Then you wanna stretch it out, get all of the wrinkles out and make sure that the seams of the cover are on the sides of the arches. You don't wanna see the seams in the center of the arch. And it's very simple and voila, there goes your Shiera walls. Okay, so I am unboxing these balloons that I got from Supreme Balloons. They wanted to send me some um, samples to try and uh, let them know and let you guys know what I think about them. So I'm going to go ahead on and unbox these, okay? So here is the packaging. So this is a Supreme Event Decor LLC. This is a... Um, the balloon company and it's for supreme balloons okay so these are the colors that i received i actually requested these colors because um i had a specific design in mind but here are these colors and um they gave it to me in um three different sizes five inches the 11 12 inch balloons and then the 18 inch balloons. I know this is yellow. This is supposed to be their um, blush color. I believe this is coral and this is Tiffany blue. So I'm starting off with blowing up my 11 inch balloons. I'm going to release some air around them out and then tie them together into dupes. So here's what the balloons look like blown up. I blew up 12 dupes of each color which is 24 balloons of each color so it comes out to a total of a, around 100 balloons so far and these are the 11 12 inch balloons I've blown up I will add the 17 18 inch balloons and the 5 inch balloons later here's the tough text balloon and these are the supreme balloons okay and so the colors are pretty much the same it's yellow <laughs> um, but um, the latex for the tough text is a little bit thicker than the supreme balloon See, it's less give and then the tough text balloon is a little bit less see-through than the supreme balloon so I'm interested in knowing how this does outside um, it is a hard comparison sometimes because tough text is known for like being you know king of the outside outside outdoor balloon garlands because their their latex is so thick but um it's def this is definitely not the thinnest latex I've seen I don't see any color markings or patches and none of the balloons popped on me when I blew them up so um so far so good so this is the supreme balloon this is their blush it has a stereotypical nude color this is Semper Tex's uh blush balloon which 
leans more towards the peach and the tough text is very peachy um it is made again out of a little bit of a, a thinner latex than both tough text and simper text um but it's not so thin to where you know any of the balloons popped when i blew them up i really do like these blush supreme balloons so time to make my clusters i'm just going to double twist six dupes of balloons or 12 balloons total into a cluster make sure you double twist those dupes in there so they do not pop out of the cluster so normally i connect my clusters together by taking one neck from one balloon in one cluster and another neck from another balloon in another cluster and tying them together now these necks were a little tricky to tie i'm going to admit they weren't the stretchiest necks in the world so i ended up adding a lot of my clusters using a 260 q balloon so here's two clusters connected together using the necktie method and now i'm going to take a backdrop clip and i'm going to tie a 260 balloon on there leaving two ends out and now i'm going to connect it on to that share wall on the side and then I'm going to wrap the two ends of the 260 balloon around that balloon garland and tie it into itself. And that's how I'm connecting it to the backdrop. So what I'm going to be doing is piecing together my clusters. So those are two clusters connected together using a 260 balloon. And now I'm adding my clusters on. Notice how I attempted to use the necks of the balloons first. And then if it was too tight, I used a 260 balloon to connect my clusters to the balloon garland. And as I'm doing this, I'm putting my backdrop clamps on there and then tying it to the balloon garland. So I'm just doing everything piece by piece this time around. See, I'm just wrapping the 260 balloon around a couple balloons in the pre-existing balloon garland and wrapping it back around the cluster. So most of the clusters I had to connect with a 260 balloon because the necks were a bit too tight to do the neck tie method. So now that I have the base of my balloon garland, I'm going to start beefing it up. So that's a big cluster of 10 balloons there that I'm adding on with a 260Q balloon because I really want to beef that bottom part up, make sure it's touching the ground, stretching out. And now I'm going to be adding smaller clusters of two to three dupes or four to six balloons to um, the pre-existing balloon garland using a 260Q balloon. And this is still using the 11 inch balloons. So these are some new balloons that I blew up. Okay, I already used the original 100 and now I'm adding some more clusters of 11 inch balloons. I will be adding the 17 inch and the 5 inch balloons later. So some of you guys have asked how I make my balloon garland thicker. Now uh, the biggest thing you want to do is add clusters to thicken up your balloon garland. But sometimes when you're adding them, sometimes the clusters get pushed to the back so you can't see them from the front. So sometimes just simply rearranging the balloons in the balloon garland can make your balloon garland look thicker because you're pulling out balloons from the back and pushing them to the front where people could see them. And I'm going to show you how I did that, especially with that bottom left cluster to show you how I instantly made it thicker by simply pulling out some balloons that were hidden in the back of that balloon garland. So now I'm adding in my 17 inch balloons by tying the necks. A couple of them I did have to add with 260 Q balloons because the necks were still too tight. But most of them I was able to tie in there with the necks of the balloon. So I'm adding on individual 17 inch balloons. And then I'm going to be adding my 5 inch clusters with the 260 Q balloons. Of course I do that with all of my balloon garlands. So just tie two clusters to each end of the 260Q balloon and then just wrap them around balloons in the pre-existing balloon garland and just put them where you want to put them and you're just filling in gaps and adding in more dimension. So back to the fullness of this balloon garland. See how there's a whole cluster of yellow balloons right there that got pushed to the back. So all I did was cut the 260Q balloon that was connecting it to the balloon garland and push that cluster of balloons out towards the front then I reconnected it again to some balloons in the front with a 260Q balloon and I instantly made this balloon garland look fuller and stretch out more at the bottom by just taking those balloons from the back and putting them to the front 
Now this is how the balloon garland looks so far. I didn't like how it was looking because it looked too straight for this curvy sheer wall backdrop. So I'm gonna show you how I played around with the shape to get it to curve around the backdrop a little bit more. Okay, so it's the next day. And so far, I've already been playing with the curve of the shape. So that's why it already looks different, okay? But the balloons have been holding up very well. So um, this is the next day. And what I did was I took the backdrop clips off of the balloon garland. And I pushed the balloon garland to the back and started sliding the balloons into the Shiera wall. So notice how I'm doing that with the coral balloons. I'm pushing those balloons into the wall. So I'm sliding them into the wall. I'm doing that with the uh, blush balloons now, just pushing it inward because I want the balloon garland to hug the walls because when they're hugging the walls, then they, you get more of that round shape. So you see how now the wall is like in between the balloon garland. I push those balloons into the wall. So now for the top, I'm going to take it down and push it into the wall just like I did with the rest of the garland. I wanted to hug the wall and get more of that curvy shape to it. And then I'm going to go to the back and push up all of my 17 inch balloons so that you can see them in the front. Because remember, I only added them on individually. So I want to show all of my 17 inch balloons. I'm twisting the balloons around trying to make them curve around the walls, give it more height. And now I'm adding in more 17 inch balloons and more five inch clusters to fill in gaps and give more dimension to this balloon garland. So here is the finished product to the setup that I did using the Supreme Balloon brand. So overall, I like the Supreme balloons. I like the color, especially the blush balloons. I really like that nude color of the blush balloons. I will note that the balloons were a little bit less opaque than let's say Tough Tex and Sempertex, especially the yellow balloons. They're a bit more see-through and the latex is a little bit thinner than Sempertex and Tough Tex as well. Now I looked up the prices of the balloons and the prices are actually on the less expensive side when compared to your Tough Tex and Qualitex balloons. So I actually think that these balloons will be a good deal for their quality. I definitely would use these for an indoor event. I'm not quite sure about outdoors because I haven't really tested them out for an outdoor event. A couple of the yellow 18 inch balloons would not inflate. So I'm assuming they had a hole in them or something. However, none of the balloons popped on me. And this is the third day that these balloons have been up and they have maintained their shape very well. So I believe that the balloons are overall of solid quality, especially for the price. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And also let me know what you think about me changing the shape. Did you prefer the first setup or do you prefer this setup better? I want to hear your opinion. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.